Okay, we are measured out 60 feet here. The poker chip shooter marked each mark by a little rolled up tube of cardboard. So, here we go. We're going to test that with every single poker chip I have. For the most part, lost a couple. But, hey, we still got like 90-ish. And just as a base mark, I'm going to take a couple of these little blue ones and throw them just with my arm see how far I can get them without the poker chip shooter to see what I really need to beat. So here we go. And that went about 65. And just some light throws and we're hitting 70-ish. So here we go with the poker chip shooter. Let's see how it does.
got all over my hand here. Started eating my poker chips. And this, and this started flinging off these little threads, hitting the side of my hand here. Very aggressive little thing. So, for the most part, 90% of them went right here. Right below me. Like, literally. All of them are, like, right here. Then we get a little farther out here, and we had a couple that are reaching our first 10-foot mark right there. But we had one miraculous one, this black one right here, that made it right in between the 10 and the fifth, or the 10 and the 20, and it went about 15, no, yeah, 15 feet right here, basically. And that is due to the fact that it got really chewed up in the gun before it threw it. And it got like stuck and just flipped it out of the gun. Because it was stuck on the back side of the gun right here. And it got stuck in between something and then it like ripped it up and threw it out. So, we got a 15 foot is our best mark we've got a beat which is kind of sad because I can hit them 75 feet out there before they start flipping around in the air and do no good so we got a beat 75 feet and best we're getting is 15 with this thing so yeah screw this gun fun to build but not really what we're looking for also if you look at me right here got all over my shirt right here all this crap on my shirt all over the place these little strings and bits of the poker chips time to pick them all up so the poker chips got most of them back all filled up, mixed up a little, but for the most part, all the poker chips now have this little side wing kind of coming off it like this, because they were all eaten up pretty good by the gun. Now the ones I threw came out perfectly fine, they have no marks whatsoever on them, but some that really got beat up by the gun, like these two guys were still in the gun when I got done really kind of got coated in stuff and the corners of them edges of them oh maybe not actually the black one looks like it mainly just got coated in the uh, duct tape off the wheel but this one right here it got eaten clear down to the metal right there you can barely start seeing that yeah there's the metal on that one sticking out so some of these poker chips here are kind of eaten a little bit, other ones are coated with other stuff, other ones have bits of other poker chips on them, like this black one right here. Has bits of another red poker chip on the edge of it. If it would focus at all. I mean, like, literally. There we go. But yeah, it's got bits of red on it from another poker chip getting eaten up and thrown at it. So we attempted with that gun. The best we got is a couple feet out here in the middle. I was able to throw clear past over there by the tramp a little bit farther and probably about the equivalent of 70, 75 feet. And that was just on a light throw here in my backyard, not trying to make it into the neighbor's yard. So we need to design something that can go past 75 feet with a poker chip. Whatever it's going to take get this poker chip farther than clear out there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more random stuff like this. And as always, I don't know. But really, I do like this gun. It was fun to build. Favorite part is that I actually have a semi-working trigger here, kind of. Because that actually kind of works and it springs back and it's so awesome 
But it doesn't work. I've still got one poker chip in here, apparently. 